Hello everyone, this is Henry from Mega Tutorial, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can install Mint on your Windows computer. Um, so what you're going to need first is a piece of software called VirtualBox. Uh, what this does is it sets up an environment where you can install other operating systems within your current uh, Windows installation, so it won't mess up your computer or anything. So. Um, just go onto virtualbox.org or search it on Google. Uh, come across to downloads, which is over here, and just download the software under there. You're then going to need the Linux distribution that I'll be using for this video and for the other videos, um, in which I'll be doing Linux tutorials, uh, programming, and various other things. So um, this is on linuxmint.com. Um, so you're just going to come across to download, and then under here, main edition, uh, DVD, and I'm going, I've chosen 32-bit. So once these are downloaded, you're going to end up with these two files. You're going to install VirtualBox. I've already done that to save a bit of time. Um, so once you've installed it, you're just going to open VirtualBox up. Uh, there we are. take this long. Oh, there we are. Right, so what we're going to do is click on new. I'm going to go to next. I'm going to type in mint fresh. Oh, meant to be capitals. A bit OCD. Okay, so operating system Linux and uh, I'm not sure if mint's on here, but it runs on Debian, so just go on that. Or you could go on other Linux, it doesn't really matter. In fact, I'll, I'll go on other Linux. So next, I'm going to choose 512 memory. Um, I've got 4 gigs of RAM on this computer, and it should run perfectly fine with 512. Um, so we're going to start. We're going to create a hard disk. Um, for now, I'm going to make it uh, 10 gigabytes, so you can go on fixed size. Um, Okay. This will normally take a few seconds. Okay, so that's finished working. Um, I'm just going to go and create now. Okay, so that has now created the virtual machine. So we're going to right click on that. We're going to go on to settings. So what we can do first is we're going to go under display. I'm going to change the video memory to 128 megabytes. Uh, I'm going to make sure the network's all set up properly. You shouldn't have to change any more of these settings really. I mean, if you know what you're doing, you could have a bit of a browse around, change a couple of things if you really want to. But it's not really essential. Okay. Um, I'm actually saying that I need to set up a um, CD drive. Okay, so what you're going to want to do to do this is basically to burn this file to a DVD and put it in your computer, or you can install a piece of software called Demon Tools and it will create a virtual CD drive and you can host this file on it so it will make the computer think that that uh, file is installed or is in your computer as a DVD. So we're just going to start the machine and hope it works. So uh, media source, um, ooh, saying that I haven't even hosted the file. <laughs> I'm going to do it on Magic ISO for now. Um, I don't think I've got Demon Tools installed at the moment, but it does exactly the same thing. So as you can see, um, there's my virtual CD drive now. You've got all the files in there. So that's the H drive. So I'm going to go on to H, next, and start. Okay. So this is going to boot for me in a second. Uh, bit annoying, I can't make that bigger. 
Uh, might have to sort that out later. So it should boot up in a second and we can install the live CD onto the hard drive. Actually, I'll pause the video and uh, resume it when it's finished booting. So um, I haven't touched anything, it's literally just started up for me. Um, this is the desktop environment which will be almost identical to when you actually install the operating system onto your hard drive. So this is known as a live CD, it's basically for you to try out the software and to install it. So we're going to go on to install Linux Mint, wait for this to load up. With a bit of luck it won't take too long. Obviously it's going to be slower than my main computer because it's got well, it's re I've restricted the amount of memory it has, so I'm English. Well, at least I hope so, anyway. Um, yes, we have that. Yeah, that's all cracked. So we're going to raise the disk and install Linux Mint. As you can see, this is the only partition we have on the virtual hard drive, so it'll automatically do that for us. Okay, so um, new drives available. I will fix that when uh, everything's installed. But until then, I'm going to pause the video and let you know. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm going to finish this first, I believe. I completely forgot about this stage. Uh, English UK. I hmm, wonder what all these are. Dvorak. Mm. Just your keyboard. Yep, I'm pretty sure that's working. Right, uh, I'll just finish this all off. Um, make a username. Uh, I'll just put password for the password. Oh no, it's weak. Don't see many people coming onto my um, virtual box to steal my password still my documents. Uh, I'll just log in automatically, it's much easier. Okay, right now I'm going to pause the video. <laughs> so, I'll see you in a second. Okay, so that is finished installing after well, quite some time, about 15 minutes. Um, so we're just going to restart. Before it does, before I forget, I need to. Uh, where will I find it? Unmount all the drives so it doesn't boot from the uh, CD again. So just take your DVD out at this point, or um, if you're using do uh, Demon Tools, just unmount the DVD. Um, get the impression this is locked up, but. If I just uh, power off the machine that way, I'll just boot it again this way. That should work fine. Uh, okay. So, see if it works. something going on. Oh, could be a good sign. Always dread it at this stage that something's gone wrong. Oh, just a little bit of a mouse though. I'm pretty sure it's going to work. Oh, hurrah. Um, I'll just get this all started. Um, I'm not going to show you around the operating system at the moment. I'll do that in a further video. Um, and I'll show you how to uh, and obviously do a few things in it, like programming, um, and then just basic things like how to install files. I may do a um, 
a video on how to install it as your primary operating system if I can find a laptop or something to install it on that shouldn't be too much of a problem but anyway, um, thanks for watching this video uh, this is my first video so it would be great if you guys could um, subscribe because uh, I could really use the support trying to get this channel off the ground um, anyway, thank you very much for watching as I've already said and goodbye